So pretty much this vlog is gonna be a cooking vlog where all of us are gonna be doing some concoctions of like... Yeah, yeah! Yeah, I'm in this bitch, man! Yeah, rockstar shit, man! Yeah, yeah! Mario Judah! Where the f*** is he, bro? Yeah! Yeah! I'm in here. Hi, man. Whoa. So, what the? we're gonna, so Mario's here. How did, how did? Yeah. What? He actually brought us some McDonald's. Oh, hey. He said, what do you want? And don't say you don't want anything. And I did. <laughs> I pressed him. I said, bro, tell me what you want. And, cause I really care about him. I grew up watching him. And I wanted to bring him some McDonald's. Him and the man behind the camera. No. Hello there. He got me an Oreo McFlurry. This shit smacks. Whose shake is this? That is my shake, but your shake is definitely right here. Yeah! <laughs> we were just talking about your rise to stardom. What would you say is the best and worst thing you've experienced thus far? Because I don't think a lot of people get the chance to kind of go through what you're going through. What's the best and worst part about your journey so far? The best thing is that the world accepts me for who I am and didn't expect me to, you know, talk about bitches and shooting guns and shit. They let me come out, say what I want to say, and on some rock star shit. And the worst thing is that one of my favorite artists of all time, Playboy Cardi, acted on shit a lot about me wanting his album. And right now being him trying to drop the deluxe, him still being nonchalant, I'm kind of over it. There ain't no point in trying to go through trying to drop the deluxe if he doesn't give a f if he acts like he don't care about his fans and which sucks, you know, cause he has that, that, that modem of not talking and being very secretive, which doesn't matter cause he's there because of people that listen to his music. Then me, I just feel like I shouldn't have to go through that and trying to make him drop and make more songs sound like him for him to drop. It's just, I feel like it's redundant at that point, you know, like I, I follow his music. I'm a fan, but at the end of the day, I'm also a public figure with fans, and they're waiting on my music, so I'm not gonna allow this to keep waiting on me! Yeah, it's not Now, <clears throat> has Playboy Cardi acknowledged you, or do you have any n knowledge that he knows about you um, or what you're doing? I know he knows me, because a rapper that goes by the name of Lil Something DM'd me and told me, look, we know who you are, we with you. We just feel like Cardi's working on the album and he needs time. And uh, when he said that, I just disregarded it because it's been two years, three years, and I'm not going for none of that shit, nor are the fans, me being a fan as well. So I disregarded it and that's when I dropped Big Yeah in the rest of the album. I just feel like, bro, your fans are waiting. They've been waiting. There's no reason why I drop something that sounds like you and it goes stupid and then you drop and it's a complete flop. Drop, flop, drop, flop, they rhyme. You feel me? I just don't feel like it's worth it and it's fair. That's all I'm saying, bro. It is what it is. It's unfair to the fans. You think you heard you, you're... He knows who I am. I, I know because of this rapper that I'm talking about, which I'm not gonna expose because that's not that's not what this is about. This isn't about exposing rappers and beefing and Cloud and all that. Like, if it was about Cloud, I would have been dropped a part two. I would have dropped a part two Christmas day when you dropped mm -hmm. to gain off the Cloud that you had. But it's not about Cloud. It's about me being a real fan way before I was blowing up, being in your comments just like everybody else else with 300 followers yo <laughs> drop your album and you obviously not listening so when i blew up i just looked at it as the opportunity to get you to drop and i'm glad when i dropped b yeah and the rest of the project a week later christmas you dropped because you knew what was going on he was you, like damn they're taking my he's taking my whole storm he had to drop yeah and and i wish it didn't go like that i wish when i told you initially you would have just dropped i wish i didn't have to see it first of all i wish i didn't even have to come on camera in that red room when i'm in the studio and tell you and scream at you you with my rock star voice yeah yeah and tell you that you need to drop you know um it's sad but um you know uh, it is what it is what can you do so what can people expect from you in the near future kind of a cliche question that's that's a crazy question a lot of people ask me that can i get a piece of this oh go for too? it you need to cool down and do whatever you gotta do <laughs> you know, a lot of my fans know that i sweat a lot it happens um from me, um, well, since I'm not, you know, going forth with this whole lot of red thing anymore, because in fact, I did tell him March 5th, that's when you have to drop the deluxe. Um, but uh, 
bro. <laughs> to answer your question, I just And if he doesn't? Well see, here's the thing initially. I was I told him, look, it's been it's been two months. I haven't spoke about it since you dropped on Christmas. I didn't. I really didn't. Mm -hmm. When he dropped whole lot of rad, I didn't speak about it. I had a no jumper interview and other shit. And I spoke about it vaguely about the fact that I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. But then I didn't say yo, like, you know. And I, then I came out the blue a few days ago and said, Look, you have until March 5th, 10 days. Make it happen. But <laughs> imagine the Cardi sitting there. Dude, this Mario guy's on my ass again. Like, <laughs> let's make the deluxe right now. Damn. I'd be worried. I'd be like, all right, let's get it out. Because that's what happened the first time. He's seen it and he said, damn, let's put it out on Christmas. Let's make it happen, right? But um, I just feel like it's not fair to my fans to grow through this again and have to wait again. Because I came out with this new sound that's so worldwide. It's worldwide. Like, I'm mixing rock with hip hop. Like, they shouldn't have to wait on me to get one of my favorite artists to drop just so that I could start dropping my original music, right? So I just feel like that it's time to get back on my rock star shit! And not have to wait on thus man, Playboy Cardi. You know, he's he's gonna drop when he wants. If he never drops, oh well, you know. He has to take that up with his people, his fans. The people that love him and appreciate him and got him where he's at, his fans being that. Um, new in this game i'm fresh i'm unique i'm not gonna let the people that care about me and stream my music and got me where i'm at suffer because this other guy who they probably don't even listen to drop you know hmm. so. i see this as a um you're kind of you know cardi's doing his thing and it was kind of not living up for his fans expectations and stuff but you're not doing that with your fans you're gonna be making your exactly. supporters happy and delivering on your end. Yeah, man, I just feel like it's not fair to them for me to just keep screaming at this man. It was cool at first, and the second time, me not even thinking about the world and their expectations, just thinking about, yo, like, I want the deluxe. Mm -hmm. F the world, I want the deluxe. Where is it? You need to redeem yourself, right? But I just feel like I have to keep remembering and waking up in the morning and remembering that I am a celebrity now. I am this big artist that people fuck with. I'm not like a regular guy on the internet who can state their in opinion in a Twitter mention or Instagram comment and it'd be over with. Like, I have a voice now. So I have to realize, like, look, fuck it. Fuck that party shit. Fuck all that. It's time for some rock star shit. Because that's what my fans want and that's what they're gonna get! Yeah, yeah! That's it right there. So as of 10 minutes ago, I was really tired and then things just heated up out of nowhere and now we have a special guest getting a massage in the massage chair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, world. I'm getting a Oh, shit. So. <laughs> so Mr. Mario Judas here experiencing what everyone who comes to our place has experienced, which is the massage chair. How's it feeling right now? You're loyal to your girl. That's what I know. You don't be on that no rock star shit. I, I respect you for that. I'm feeling good, man. LLS. LLS shit pussy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new catchphrase for the channel. <laughs> no good. Hey, man. Set it here first, man. 